Hello and welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2. We just defeated Angelica's brother, not brother, uncle rather. And now we're on the way to settle it with her father. Blah 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 and the creators, they were quickly on their way to the outskirts of the highway where they plan to rendezvous with Angelica's supporters in the provincial army. Those guys on our side? Cool. Looks like my volunteers are ready to go. I'll see you later. Good luck and take care. Just be careful, okay? I said this contains a divine night battle. Unless we're doing it as Angelica, I'm not sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Even should I fail and end up tossed into the fiery depths of hell. Even hell could keep me away from this land ripe with beautiful ladies. Truly, I have found Shangri La. Okay. You remind me so much of my brother. You know we're worried about you, right? This isn't the time for jokes, Angie. It's serious. You might be going to fight your dad, but this is still a war. Oh, I know. Even if he knows I'm his opponent, no. Because he knows I'm his opponent. My old man won't hold back in the slightest. So neither will I. It took me too long to find you guys. The last thing I want is to be taken away from you forever. Well, as long as you understand what's at stake. Come back safely, Angie. We'll be praying for your success. Thanks. All right, now it's my turn to take care of my own problems. You just sit back and watch, okay? Right! Oh yeah, so it's like we are gonna fight maybe as her in, 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 a, in a divine knight. It says yes, sir, but then they say yes, ma'am. Oh, that's a that's an error in the dub. Hey, your lordship. I assume this is her dad. Ah, there he is. What is it? Why are you so flustered? I thought you should hear this as soon as possible, sir. The Reinford building has been attacked. Lord Heidel was arrested. What? Are you certain of this? Yes, sir. In addition, Lady Angelica is leading several soldats in this direction. I imagine they are being piloted by a small number of our very own. Ah, that good for nothing daughter. Huh? Where are you going? Oh, I forgot about him. What do you want? You off to settle the score with your daughter? Let me lend a hand. I didn't come all this way to do nothing. You stay out of this. This has nothing to do with you, or even the Noble Alliance. This is a father disciplining his child for going one step too far. You remain here and stay on alert for the third armored division coming from the Nord Highlands. Look at him getting all fired up. He's all right in my book. Can't say I'm a huge fan of getting in the way of a family matter like this. But this is too good a chance to pass up. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Several hours later. situation is really tense down there. It feels like they could start fighting at any moment. Good luck, Angelica. Lady Angelica, 
Something's happening in the fortress. That looks like. Oh, that's her dad sold out? Really? That's it? Is she melee fighting it? Are they about to melee fight this? Because she doesn't have a sword, does she? They literally are about to melee fight this out. All right. Your lordship. This is more like watching a family feud than an all out war. But with robots. I'm with Fee on that one. I think the robot thing alone makes it pretty different from most family feuds. Still, at least they can communicate honestly with one another, even if they have to use their fists to do it. Soldiers seem to be completely enthralled by the battle, too. Marquis's sold out might have the upper hand in terms of raw power and defense. But Angie's clearly spent a lot of time practicing so that she can use her Taito skills while in hers. Looks that way, yeah. I think this fight will end up being decided by a single moment. Go on, Angie. Oh, no! Her zero impact. Yeah, this fight's done. I was a close one, but I pulled through in the end. <laughs> I didn't expect for you to have an ace like that up your sleeve. I suppose that's another thing you must have learned after you ran away from home. You couldn't be less like a noble if you tried. Uncle Haida was right, though. I sure as hell take after you. You were the one that taught me that true Erebonian nobles must always be able to stand on their own two feet. Those words have always stuck with me, you know. Ah, it looks as though I've no choice. I admit defeat, Angelica. <sighs> looks like it's finally over. No, you gotta wait for it, because I remember that Vulcan is about to do some crazy stuff here. Yeah, I knew it. What? Angie. 
What is that? Is that a soul dot? That thing's huge! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's got a minigun too. There's no way a soul dot that massive moving like that's gonna hold out for long. Come on now! You don't think you can sit back and watch from up there now that me and Goliath are out, do you? Get down here! It's our turn! Green Schwarzer! Uh, it's him, isn't it? Yep, that's Vulcan. Wasn't he one of Crow's friends from the Imperial Liberation Front? Indeed he was. Exceptionally dangerous foe to say nothing of the soul dot he's piloting. Good luck. Thanks. Balamar, together we can disable that thing. Acknowledged. <laughs> I knew it. thing is enormous it has at least like five five hundred k health come on like only nine thousand damage that's it body all right find time to find out how much health this thing has three hundred k okay time for a long fight boys we might lose a couple times, so bear with me. Arms? Aha! Arms! Only 9k a hit. Oh boy, he powered up. Probably would be best to defend. Oh, only 5400. That was a good call to, to guard that. You already switched position. Allow me. 
There we go. Now let's go for the body. Dang it. Dang, 25k. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. Yeah, good. 41k. Good decision to heal. Dang, you got two hits in that guy? Dang, bro. I like the morning moon. And then let's charge up your charge that up. Oh, that was it? Oh, that was kind of annoying. That's not good. We gotta heal. Heal. Okay, that, we're okay now. We're okay. We're okay now. I always forget which one does which. Oh, what? 25k damage. Heal again. I might use a craft. Heavenly Slash. Boom. And the big one. Let's go, boys. I'm just going to go ahead and charge to be safe. Oh, he guarded me again. Dang. Forty-one thousand. Jeez. You see, he just got double damage attack on me. That's not fair. Okay, we'll do Morning Moon just to make sure he so he misses it. Defend. I can't heal myself because this guy is being extremely rude. Heal. Okay. Unite. Boom. Yes, you did good, sir. You did screw up. And we didn't even have to restart that one either. Nice. Oh, I think I lost my controller. Oh, boy. Restart that real quick. I mean, we won first try, too. I didn't have to restart that. Sure, it was 300k health in the long fight, but we got it. Considering how stacked the odds were against him. Yeah, only 9k damage to punch. I was thinking 18k at least. Take the whole soul dot with it. 
What? Vulcan, get out of there quickly! If you don't hurry, you're gonna die! Sorry, but this is just how I wanted it to be. Well, okay. I did what I set out to do. I can't say I don't have regrets, but I'm satisfied at least. Are you an idiot? If you go and die, it all amounts to nothing. <laughs> I died a long time ago. I've been dead since the day that bastard had the others in Arngarm slaughtered. At least now, I can finally be reunited with them, and she... <sighs> anyway, try and give Scarlet and Crow the end of all of this that they want, too. Can you do that for me? See ya. It's been fun. I did not expect that to happen. Bye, Vulcan. That shows the astronaut is better than that big thing. Everything was put back into order by Angelica and Marquis Rogner. And with that, the crisis in the Schwarz Drake barrier came to an end. Shortly thereafter, the Mar Marquis formally recognized his defeat and swore an oath to Princess Alfin. Really now? He swore. From this moment on, my provincial army shall withdraw from the alliance and play no further part in the war. Solid! Okay, at least he's a man of his word. Not bad, not bad, I'll take it. I really did not expect that didn't like that. Of course, Irina's back at work. At least his mother also returned to her position as chairman of the Ranford Group. In no time at all, she went back to reuniting the various divisions and quelling the chaos that had arisen. Sifting through the information she had acquired, she discovered that the Soldats were primarily being produced in the West. This knowledge in hand, she drove herself to investigate further, doing all within her power to guide the war to a conclusion. The war's nowhere near. We haven't beat Crow yet. We have ways to go. While all of that was going on, they landed the Courageous in the newly liberated Ruhr. And the Reinford Company was gracious enough to offer to perform full-scale maintenance on her. Class 7 then decided to use the downtime to relax in the city while they had the chance. Alright, looks like we're actually going to get another free day. Noise. It's, it's, it's. All right. Wednesday, Ruhr stopover day. The city has has a much nicer energy to it than it did under Alliance control. It must be due to the chairman returning to her post and the Marquis declaring neutrality. I'm happy to see how things have changed, but this piece came at a steep price. Maybe a walk around, a walk would do me some good. I'm still feeling kind of down, but maybe spending time with ta and talking with others will help. I should probably check on Valimar too, I really overworked him yesterday. Might be best to hold off on that until I'm done in the city though. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, game, don't lag on me now. Did I lose? I lost my... Devance is where I choose to put the creators at the airport. Okay. I don't know the keyboard buttons because I need to try. I, I need to save as soon as I possibly can. What's the save button? Tab? Nope, not tab. Shift, control, space. 
It's gotta be one of these buttons. Oh, that's the volume. Oh, okay. I did that. Okay, so now I gotta turn off my control and turn it back on. Right. Okay, boom. Okay, let's save now. Fast. Save, please. Okay, boom, we got the save. Woo, that was intense. I was so afraid we were gonna lose our save. That would have been terrible. Okay. So who, so do, I think it looks like we got a bonding event with everybody besides Sharon and the cat. Okay. How many points do we have? Five, okay. Well, we know who we gotta do first. You print this off too interesting. Let's look at the links real quick. Okay. Machias is a three guy, so we could do. Okay, so how about we'll do Elisa, Elliot, Mach, not Machias, sorry. Emma, so Emma, Elisa, Elliot. Gaius and Fee. That's five. Boom. We save Elisa's for last. Da, da, da. We'll go to the RF store because that's where. Well, so that is. The, did Elliot get a haircut? <laughs> oh, is, oh, wait, no. Or is Elliot not in here? Oh, Elliot's not here. Oh, he was right here. How are you doing, Elliot? I can't stop thinking about our field study here from earlier in the year. Sure, it was tough, but it was fun. And V was still alive. Oh. Yeah. Even if we did think he died back in, at the mine. I'm guessing news of V's actual death was probably reached grill by now. I wonder how he's taking it. Sorry, it was probably super intensive of me to bring him up. Or right, incense. I don't even incense it, but he's always said. Just, just try to cheer up, okay? Well, that's definitely worried about me. Maybe we should hang out for a while. Heck yeah, we're hanging out with our boy Elliot. This got a great idea for something we can do together. Come with me, Rain. What, what's going on now? You'll find out soon enough. Let's go. Oh no. What are we about to do? What are we doing? Elliot dragged Rain in, into the Ryanfrey building, and after he borrowed a few things, Elliot dragged him right back out again. <laughs> sort of thing looks like the same kind of orbital gear, orbital gear I used back at the festival. It's because it is. Both that and the, and the keyboard were made by the Ryanfrey company. They're displaying mo they're display models, but they said we could use them since playing them right out here would make for good advertising. Should be all tuned up now. I've got I've got permission too, so shall we get started? Get started. Wait, you don't mean I should do? Let's play some music. Just you and me putting on a concert in the middle of the street. <laughs> oh, Elliot. That pick is a bit bigger, big. Despite the sudden start, the two played with Gusta. Their focus entirely on both the instruments and the performance. A surprise number of viewers residents has stopped to listen and clap for them too. All in all, it was a success. Nice. So I swear if we have karaoke, I'm gonna cry. Whew, th that was something. Impressive work, Reen. We were out of sync in a few spots and we missed a note or two here and there. But it was fun, wasn't it? It was for me, at least. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It's good to show that music doesn't stop at giving strength to the listeners and performers to get some, too, I guess. It was every bit as happy there as I was when we performed at the festival. <laughs> I'm a little biased, but I'd say playing yourself is say playing yourself is even more fun than listening, to be honest. That's probably one of the reasons I just can't seem to give up music. Thanks for inviting me to join you, Elliot. Then. This definitely cheered me up. You're very welcome. <laughs> well, we'll have to do this again sometime if we can. Or some time to practice, hopefully. Not just us either, the whole class, just like back at the festival. That sounds great. I hope we get another chance to do something like that. All right. One down, four to go. 
Their street concert complete, Ray and Elliot went back to Ranford HQ to return their instruments with smiles of elation on their faces. Boom. Okay, we increase our bond with Elliot. All right, next on the list is Emma. Emma, Emma, Emma. Okay. 